Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Jai Apataya has made a believer out of me. Not that I didn't believe in him before. I thought he was a very, very good fighter. But let's be let's be honest here. He's elite. And okay, you can argue that Jordan Thompson was out of his depth, was taking too many jumps up. But sometimes it is how you get your work done. And Jai Apataya, having fought pretty much no one up to Bride, uh, Marius Brides, although he did have a very, very long and successful amateur career. He was an Olympian. I think he won the he won a world, world Championships amateur. Um, despite all that, uh, he proved it against Bradis that he was, you know, he's teak tough and had a ton of skills. And he came all the way from Australia to, to England um, and he just smashed up Jordan Thompson. Now, I thought this would be a much closer fight because I thought there were question marks over Opatia's jaw because it was broken in two places against Bradis. I thought the size of Thompson, as long as he made the weight right, could be a factor, the long rangey. Um, jab and everything uh, I, there was a huge question mark over Jordan's um, jaw himself you know punch resistance shall we say uh, and in fact he was flawed twice in the fight but from the word go the southpaw up tire with that backhand um, was but 20 seconds in he threw a backhand and okay Thompson had his had his right glove nice and you know, sort of stuck to the side of his face but it just looked ominous and by the second round Thompson had you know, blood coming out of his nose. I think his nose is probably broken. Um, he was getting busted up, and Opatia looked extremely aggressive, very, very skillful. He faints so well. I mean, he bounces up and down. I never ever like that sort of bouncy, bouncy sort of stance thing. I don't like that because I don't like to ever see a fighter's both feet off the ground, even for a split second, because it means you have no control over your body. But Opatia does that and he gets away with it because his feints are so good and he loves that backhand. I mean, he leads with the backhand. His jab is powerful. It's piston. Um, his footwork is great because he gives, he completely offsets, uh, well, he off offset uh, Jordan Thompson. Uh, Thompson wasn't able to time him with the jab. He wasn't able to control the range. Opatia got close almost at will. Um, Thompson went over in, was it the second or third round? Uh, yeah, I think it was the third round, was it? Or the second round? Second round, I think. Um, got up, said he'd been shoved over. It didn't really matter. He'd been hurt. That was the point. Um, in the third round, he did come back a little bit, Thompson. He fired his own um, backhand, which, as, as a, an orthodox fighter would be, his right hand. Popped it over, and it caught up a tire. And J Jordan Thompson's got some pop to his punches. Uh, but didn't really have an effect on Opatia. It, it probably sort of got his attention, but straight away Opatia came back like all great fighters do. Terrific, you know, guts this guy's got. He's such a tough guy, and with that amateur schooling, um, he's got just about every every fistic tool in the box, every punch in the box, you know. he, he And he was busting up Jordan Thompson, just smashing him up. And Thompson, by the end of the third round, I mean, I, I didn't think they were going to let him out, but Tony Sims in the corner did. Thompson was lucky, to be honest, to survive that third round. He was getting the tar beaten out of him. His face was a mask of blood. And within 20 seconds, Thompson was all but flawed again. You know, he sent tottering back to the ropes from an, yet another backhand, southpaw backhand. And Howard Foster jumped in just as Opatai was putting the finishing touches. Thompson fell forward. Completely, a completely beaten man, you know, defiant, he didn't quit, he hung tough, but he was just levels below, levels, levels below. And um, Jaya Pattaya is, is even better than I thought he was. I thought he was good anyway. I Like I said, in my preview, I said, you know, points, maybe a late stoppage. No, there was a guy, actually an Australian guy, I think he was in, in my, in one of the comments, uh, he said, look, he said, this is a three rounder, three rounds or less, it will smash right through Thompson. The guy was right, because it was like three rounds and 20 seconds, and I was wrong, no problem with saying that at all. But the question marks that were over Opatia because of his busted jaw, the travel, he had, I think he'd fought twice outside Australia, once in Mexico, of all places, but... No, it didn't bother him at all. He came here to do a job and he did that job. And this guy is, in my opinion, by far the best cruiserweight in the world. There was talk of afterwards of maybe getting him in there with Chris Billum Smith. Chris Billum Smith would get the crap beaten out of him. And to be honest, I think, well, Lawrence O'Coley wouldn't finish the fight. Upper tire would smash him up. Yeah, 
Maybe maybe uh, Maris Bridis would want a rematch. I wouldn't rule him out. He's you know still a very very good fighter, but. Jay Apatia. Why is this guy not a superstar in Australia? I'm told this by Australian fans that everyone talks about Tim Zhu, probably because he is Costa Zhu's son, but they're ignoring or they're neglecting, shall we say, uh, Apatia, who is a great, great, clearly a great fighter, you know, potentially a great fighter. We shouldn't bestow legendary status on him until his career's over, but he's got all the, all the materials, he's got all the tools. This guy deserves to be noticed and lauded. And, um, I liked his attitude as well, very cool, got booed into the ring, didn't really care, just got on with his job. Yeah, he's got the mentality, the temperament and the skills. This is a very, very, very good cruiserweight. So let me know what you thought of this fight, comments below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the like button as well, but the subscription is good, and yeah, look, I'm looking forward to reading your comments, as always, speak to you soon, bye for now.